She captivated the world with her bold voice, and Susan Boyle's appearance has also been the subject of much talk. As we reported earlier, she now has a new hairdo. This is what she looked like before. I'm going to show you again what she looks like now in a minute, and we're going to talk about it with three of our favorite experts, Oscar Blondi, Katrina Zisch, and Derek. They're going to create their own virtual makeover for Susan. Good morning to the three morning. of you. Good morning, Good Maggie. Good morning. Since hair is the topic of the day, let's start with you, Oscar. I want to show you her new hairdo, and okay. as an expert, tell me if you believe that it suits her. Well, it's definitely better for what she start from. I mean, the proportion that they still off. I mean, I would probably done something a little bit more different. I would definitely let some of the length grow a little bit longer. I mean, my biggest problem looking ahead is the side. Uh, when I saw the first picture... Too poofy? Way too poofy. Yeah. It, it kind of have, feel like a here muffin, like you know, when you want to go ski. Uh, you I, see I, I've the, been guilty of that. <laughs> no, <twice> but... <laughs> All right. I mean, she's a lovely woman, but I think the proportion, they way off. I Let's mean. start with what, what you would do, our, our virtual makeover. You would create a hairdo sort of like... So that's something this much is what more... she was like before. So she's changed a little bit now, but you think something like Jane Fonda yeah, exactly. would Exactly. Like, you know, something that's a little bit more complement their cheekbones. <laughs> Something softer, you see the neckline. Something wispy, something that is there but does emphasize the jawline, does emphasize your cheekbone, and something is much more tapered. Something like that. <laughs> something <laughs> almost. <laughs> okay, another one you like is a bob inspired I, by a I, Jessica Alba. Correct. I do like some length on her. I mean, of course, the proportions have a lot to do it. Um, for Susan, I think like probably the length should be much shorter, but still something touching on the shoulder length, something some softer on the side, something longer on the front, not necessarily. <laughs> 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 All right. She does you look see, younger, I have to say. It does. See, covers your neckline, yeah. so it, it makes you skinny on your face. It's oh. some softer. And that's what you want to look. Some proportion that emphasize your beauty, not maximize like you know cheekbones, jawline, and neckline. All right. Let's talk about makeup, Derek. Yes. Kate Winslet would be your inspiration she for She actually makeup? would be because it's very seamless, very flawless and understated. Natural. I think that's what really comes across. You know, her talent is the celebrity of her cell as far as Susan's concerned. And you really want to get that flawless look, understated, open up her eyes a bit, a little structure to the mouth and her face. And I think that's exactly what we want to do. It's flawless skin. Over here we have a little bit of makeup. <laughs> I would probably Jane take that Fonda volume down. With, uh, with Kate <laughs> Winslet makeup. Yeah, I'd take the volume down a little bit. I'd open up her eyes. They both have very strong brows, which are great and we love. Uh -huh. But I would probably shape them more in favor of her eyes to open them up so you can really see them a little more while she's singing. Okay. And a little more structure yeah. to her lip. A little more balance. Because when you watch those words fly out of her mouth, it's mesmerizing and dazzling, and I think that's so important for her. Mm -hmm. Soft cheek, she has that beautiful berries and cream skin, which is almost exotic now. You don't see that much anymore. So playing that up, making it flawless, mm -hmm. and perfecting a little bit of her jawline, and minimizing a little bit of her chin line, okay. I think she'd be perfect. Uh, we talked about hair, we talked about makeup. Katrina. The Can you clothes. give her a fashion makeover? Well, yeah, I think it's first important to mention that we're not trying to change how she looks. We're trying to refine the presentation to really reflect the talent and beauty that lies within. We don't want the way she looks to detract from her voice, which is what happened when we first met her. So I would take inspiration from Helen Mirren, who is always Perfect elegant. Perfect choice. Lots of monochromatic shades, blacks, whites, creams, necklines that are a little more opened up around the neckline, of course, so that sort of draw your eye to the face. Something like this is really my ideal outfit for Susan because it's still flattering. It's age appropriate. I mean, she's 47 years old, but we don't want to make her look like Madonna, who's mm -hmm. actually in her 50s, of course. But doesn't look but, like she's But yeah. it's age appropriate and personality appropriate. Monochromes, clean lines, tailored silhouettes, no more granny prints. <laughs> <laughs> no more granny prints. Yeah. Thank you so much, Katrina, Thank you. Derek, and Oscar. Thank you. We Thank appreciate you. you as always. Coming up next here for us, a new start for Star Trek. Everyone's favorite sci-fi series is getting a reboot. We'll be right back.